Hello everyone and welcome back to Zutessia! I'm so happy to be home! I had a wonderful time adventuring in Calf's world, but oh my gosh! I got so dizzy there and I don't get nearly as dizzy here. Who knows what it is? Who knows what it is? But we brought back so much treasure! So much treasure and so much loot! And I'm so excited to share all of that with you because it means we can get started on some mega projects! And I'm not gonna lie, going through and gathering up that many dinosaur fossils and relics has me really, really hungry to do some dinosaurs. So maybe we'll be working on that soon. But really quickly, I wanted to apologize to you guys for zoo crafting not being here yesterday and for it being very, very late today. And I really care about you guys and I'm really sorry. So I'll be honest, it was some relationship issues. Um, and I tell you that not because I want pity or anything, but I want you guys, especially many of you young ones, to understand that sometimes, even though you're in love, there are growing pains. <laughs> especially when you're still growing up. We're both in our mid-twenties. I'm actually older than Darling, and my birthday is tomorrow! Oh, I should do something fun for my birthday. But yeah, so I'm actually older than Darling by a few months. <laughs> Just a few months. His birthday's in... July, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I'm a bad girlfriend. I forgot. But basically, it was just a lot to deal with. And I posted stuff on my Twitter. So if you guys are ever wondering, Siri, Siri, where's zoo crafting? What's going on? Go to Twitter. Go to Twitter. You don't have to sign up for Twitter. You can just click on my Twitter and check out what's going on. And you guys will see it was a little bit chaotic. And things worked out just fine. And you know what? When you really love someone, no matter how they work out, they'll work out just fine. But don't worry, we're still happy together. We move things around so we're both a little bit more comfortable and have our own space. When you both work from home, you need your own space. And I feel really good. But that's why we're out here in this garden because I was really worn out and the heart needed a couple days just to rest. So again, I'm sorry about the lack of zoo crafting, but today we have something very exciting to do. We're going to check on the duck eggs. So we're gonna go see how many duck eggs. You guys were amazing. 400 likes, 400 likes. Do you realize how many special breeding meals I was able to feed the ducks with 400 likes? 16, whoa, 16, 16 breeding meals. So that's really exciting. But yeah, everything worked out fine. Everything's okay now. And thank you guys just so much for sticking with me and being patient. And those of you who saw on Twitter were super supportive and my heart feels better, and I'm excited about my birthday, my birthday, my birthday tomorrow. We're gonna have to do something really fun, but first things first, let us review what's been going on. Oh, I thought that was like a poof of smoke, but this is actually, for those of you guys who don't know, this is my private garden. It's in the memorial garden, and you just, oh, Agent Glacier. I don't see you very often, Special Agent Glacier, but Agent Glacier is uh, down here keeping an eye on our memorial garden. Yeah. Uh, the original Bob the Third and his chicken are buried here. Rest in peace, Bob the Third. And then actually nobody else is buried in here yet, but it is looking beautiful. I really love this. It's just a, such a nice little tomb room. And Agent Glacier is tasked with the very special job of watching over those of our members who have passed away. And also those water lilies and that water cactus back there is dedicated to my grandfather who passed away whilst we were recording zoo crafting. Like not during it, but I was recording at the time. And this is my home garden. So this is like my little love garden to represent like things that I do. And, and like all these philodendrians represent the hundreds of philodendrians in our house. This, uh... Madagascar palm rep represents the palm like cane tree that Darling and I bought on a plant date. I love going on plant dates. Maybe maybe we'll go on another plant date for my birthday. And then this little guy represents a couple days ago. I don't know how to explain what went down and you guys probably aren't interested. But basically, you know you love someone when you want what's best for them no matter what. And thankfully, what's best for both of us is still being together and growing together. Because it's an adventure. And I'm really happy I get to share it with him. And with all of you guys! Look at all those Nymphsias! I actually need to plant more Nymphsias. We should have 158, I believe, Nymphsias right now. No, 159! Can you believe that? That's so many Nymphsias! Let me check how many I have right now. 
All right, latest planting of nymphsias was 153. So I have to add six more nymphsias already. And each of these nymphsias, as you guys have heard before, represents 100 of you, 100 of our community members who have joined us for our various things, mostly zoo crafting, but also Pixelmon Ranger and everything else that we do. And hello, nymphsia, honeybee, how are you doing? She's got some good stuff in there. But yeah, things are going really great now. Oh, it just, it was a day to relax, a day to rest. So there's lots of stuff to show you guys back at the house too. So let me just uh, gather up these honeycombs. Hello, tree of illumination, honeybee. I hope you're having a good day. And then we're gonna pop over here. Ah, there we go. Got a little running under my feet. That's better. And let's pop over. I love these decorative arches that we made. It's so simplistic. It's just oak and it's just some vines, but they work so well together. And I'm going to show you guys where all of our loot has been hidden. And we might even play with some of it today. I'm so excited. All right, so let's go up. And actually, I think I should take you through the front door because Mara, I love this. I love how often Mara leaves us presents. And why is there a cat out here? What? <gasps> Anthea! So I named Anthea. I named the uh, new kitten and I looked at all of your guys' suggestions and a lot of you were like Greek gods and some of you were like trying to put Persephone and Agent Noodle's name smushed together which was awesome. And we ended up going with a Greek goddess name because Anthea represents her mother's coloring. So I have a feeling that Agent Noodles and Persephone will be quite prolific and they'll probably go on several kitty dates. We might even assist them at that, take them to romantic locations here in the garden or over at the berry bakery or maybe they could sit and watch the big brown uh, bamboo rats inside of the cave exhibit. And then if they have future kittens, so siblings for you, Anthea, uh, then we will name them after Greek gods if they're black and white, like Persephone, since Persephone is named after Persephone from the mythological stories and uh, the wife of Hades, basically, daughter of Demeter. Trust me, I, I, was, I loved Greek mythology as a child. And so that's how she got the name named Anthea, which is a goddess of marshes and swamps and those kinds of swamp flowers and swamp plants, which is perfect because you're going to be downstairs. Okay, are you ready? I know this is a little bit alarming. You've been in a safari net before. We're going to take you over to Annie and Nicole, and you can hang out down in the basement of the reptile house. So it seemed really fitting to give her that kind of name when she's going to be the reptile house cat. So we'll take her over there in just a second. And then if they have kittens that look like Agent Noodles, so uh, orange tabbies, we're going to name those kittens after noodle types, like ramen and udon and yakisoba. So that'll be really fun, too. Oh, I love our path. I love our home. It's so good to be home again. Hey, y'all. Keeper Flora. Bun Bun Cookie. There's a lot of new bunnies. I hear the bunnies are escaping off. The oh, my gosh. Look, there's one. There's an escapee right now. Hey, 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 polka dot. I'm glad some of you guys are back. I bet they've been found and brought back by Mara and Mystery Man. Mystery Anvil dropping on my head man, who you guys will meet pretty soon. All right, scoot your over, Fluffers. Fluffers, be a good bun bun. That's right, Fluffers. All right, that's good. I don't think they're suffocating down there because they can get in and out, but I might make their, their underground home quite a bit bigger. That's something people have been requesting for a while, too. And I think that's a good idea for our bun buns. But let's go see what Mara has left us over at the front door real quickly. Oh, I want to pick those pears. I want to pick those pears so bad, but I'm resisting. And our sweet little, our sweet little itty bitty little Bigfoot is still hanging out here. So I'm glad he's doing okay. So let's run up and check out what Mara has left us. I found more tanzanite ore for you. Love, Mara. Also added four new bunnies to the exhibit. Oh, gracious. I'm so glad she's on top of that. Oh, look, and we've got a pigu. Two pigus hanging out with our dogs. That's fine. Hey, Tate, you want to wander around? Like, in the morning, they just will sit and wait for me. Also, hang on. All right, you wait there, Anthea. I need to get pine out from under there. Pine. Pine calm. Pine calm. Ah, oh, got him. Whew, he's been stuck back there for a while because I couldn't get him <laughs> out, out of there. All right, so Tate and Pine. Hey, do you want out? Come on. Pigu. You might turn into Pigu snacks if you stay in there too long. All right, so let's see. 
So that's where some of our bunnies are coming from. <gasps> and look at this tanzanite. We can combine it with the, ooh, our volcanic rock. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We can combine the tanzanite with the tanzanite that we brought back from our adventure in Calf's World. And then we will be able to really awesomely decorate our shrine. I'm really looking forward to making our shrine and other cultural things and decorative things. I'm really getting excited about the idea of putting up more decorative stuff around the zoo. Oh. I'm sorry to say that Assistant Freezer Bunny fell to his death while trying to climb the vines to reach the essence berries. Here are his remains. What? Oh no! It's like a little vigil and everything. Hang on. Assistant Freezer Bunny, I'll, I'll get you downstairs and, and we'll, we'll patch you up because we'll get you, we'll get you all, all cloned up and I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Assistant Freezer Bunny, you already cloned yourself. Look, Professor Cowplant III, do you see what could have happened to your boyfriend? Do you? Do you understand these implications? Look at me in the eyes. No, don't you turn away from me, ma'am. You know what you've done. This is your bad influence influencing your beloved boyfriend to risk his life trying to get you some of those essence berries, isn't it? Come on. Be honest. She knows it. She knows it. Well, it's a good thing it looks like he cloned himself first. And there's a cow. And she cloned herself again, too. <laughs> all right, so they're doing OK. So I'm glad that they're all right. But while we're down here, I might as well show you guys. Oh my gosh, well, I'm going to stick. Uh, what should I do? OK, let's go ahead, and we're going to get, let's just analyze this real quick. Uh, it's Assistant Freezer Bunny backups. That's good. I guess we have backups of Professor Cowplant. Not only a clone, but let's see. I'm pretty sure I have her remains. Yeah. This is some of her remains right here. So we've got backups there. And then uh, all of this, look at these piles of relic scraps. We brought back all of these relic scraps and these two frozen meat and these biofossils from Calf's World. That's fantastically amazing. In fact, let's get some of these uh, analyzing right now. I feel like we need a bigger analyzer room now. All right, frozen meat. I really hope we get something really cool, like another ammonite, so we can start the ammonite population up again. There we go. And now we've got lots of extra cow DNA. <laughs> oh my goodness. So now we know this is Assistant Freezer Buddy. Safely, safely, his uh, cloning samples safely tucked away. Oh my goodness. And then we also brought back two scarab gems. So I'm very happy about that. We have two scarab gems um, from Caps World 2. So that was, that was a pretty lucky find, actually. All right, let's put these relic scraps in here as well. And actually, let's get another, well, let's get the uh, biofossils churning up. Why not? Oh, man. <gasps> Dodo DNA. Well, not the, not the most unfamiliar thing, but I don't mind having some of that. All right. Oh, look at all this DNA. I really am itching to start messing around with this DNA, too. That's going to be so exciting. Ah, all right, put that away. And then I guess we'll get one more stack of sifted scraps going, just so something happens. Ooh, stone tablets and gravel and everything. Nice. Put this away. And then sifted scraps. Okay, we'll stop playing around in here because I could stay down here forever, like collecting beautiful stone tablets and <gasps> beloved plant fossils. Uh, let me just uh, casually tuck this right there. There you go, little one. All right, hey, 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 hey. Get down. Bad cow. Bad cow. I'm going to have to figure out. Maybe I'll have to set up like a little gate around down here. They just, they're going to kill themselves, these silly cows. I'm so worried about them. Oh, hey, Lenny. Oh yeah, Lily, Agnes, come on, you two, follow me. We'll go back upstairs. Lily, are you okay? All right, sit, Lily. Lily, what the heck, Lily? Lily, what are you doing? Follow me. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank you, darling. That's a perfectly timed cup of tea because I'm getting really hungry. Oh well, I'm really glad it turns out assistant free assistant freezer bunny. There we go. Had a backup of himself, so we don't have to worry about the fact that he died. All right, let's pick all these up. And oh yeah, I was gonna show you guys all the other stuff that we brought back from Calf's World. Lily, you're so hurt. Sit down. Recover. Where'd Iris go? What was that about? Iris, you're downstairs. I don't even know what, I need to not bring the dogs down here. Bad stuff seems to happen. You sit and rest, Lily. Just heal up, okay? All right, I'm worried about her. <sighs> All right, so we brought back 
this stuff. Look at this. So we have the beautiful, uh, I think, oh, what was it called? It's not Manulium. That's the purple one. This is that, oh, what was it called? Oh, because it's, it's going to say Lapis Lazuli just because of um, the way our world can be kind of silly sometimes. But this is that really beautiful block that I fell in love with over in Calf's World. In fact, let me see if I can find the name of it really quickly. Because we're home again and so much copper. Oh my gosh, we brought back tons of copper and 10, uh, some gold, a little bit, like only like two bars of uh, aluminium. So I really don't think aluminium, uh, aluminum, as some people call it, is going to be the thing we want to build Dr. Nami's underwater base with. I really feel like it would be better to build it out of um, this block here, which is the osmidium. It's the osmidium. I knew I would remember the name eventually. And we also reorganized this a little bit better, but I really want to get some smelteries going both in this world and the other world. Oh, Lily, you look so sad. Come on, let's take you outside. So that uh, with smelteries going in both worlds, we'll be able to get even more materials. Oh, thank you, darling. Wow, he's getting really, really gift givey. Oh my gosh, look at the pig in the doghouse. That's not for you, pig. All right, Iris just ran straight to the... Iris ran straight into the little uh, bed. So let's see. I need to get, let's see, series ranger pack, the sit and stay command. Let us let Iris be set to wandering. Lily! Lily! Oh dear. Lily girl! Did she not come out? Lily! Are you still? Lily! All right, we're going to leave Anthea here for just a second and take Lily upstairs because I think she's having a hard time figuring it out. She might not be feeling well enough to walk upstairs. Poor baby. All right, then let's come over here. Lily, there you go. Oh, she looks like she's feeling better. All right, let's change her to wandering too so she can just wander around. There you go, sweetie. Oh, her tail's all tucked down and everything. Here's some raw pork chop that once upon a time was some frozen meat. And here's some cooked pork chops. Does that help, Lily girl? Look at her poor little tail. It's all the way down. That's really sad. Lily, lift your tail up, darling. Oh, that's the saddest thing. Lift your tail, my love. You're okay. You're okay. All right, I'm going to leave you here to recover, okay? I have to go get the cat. Also, get out of here, Pigu. You are not a dog. It was fun when one pig was in here, but now they're all just like crowding around in here. All right, Lily, you get to feeling better. I'll see if I can make you a treat. I don't have enough wheat right now, but I'll get some wheat later. All right, well, enough of the, the fiddly faddling. I'm going to put this tanzanite away with our other tanzanite. Hello, Anthea. Um, yeah, look at all that tanzanite. Also, the quartz crystals we brought home turned into crystals, and the charged quartz crystals turned into celestial crystal shards. So we definitely brought home some very interesting things. I'm very excited to have the tanzanite. Um, oh, cool, it makes an ancient staff handle. What? That's pretty cool. All right, so let's go ahead and grab Anthea, and we'll put her in the reptile house. Whew. And then once we do that, we can go, oh good, it's, the dawn is coming, we can go and check on the ducks! So we'll go see how many duck eggs we have because of you amazing people, and just what the ducks may have laid naturally. And actually, I learned mallards, this was very interesting to me, uh, they can lay their eggs in really random places. And just in case. And when I say really random places, I found tons of examples of mallards laying their eggs like in um, in flower pots, which I thought was really funny. But basically, a mallard just wants a nice depression in the earth where she can kind of settle in just like a little, a little, you know, spot down in the ground. And she'll just kind of like settle into a little groove in the ground and lay her eggs in there. So I thought that was pretty cool. And um, like, it's very simplistic too. Hello, everybody. Hello, American crocodiles. Zinna? Zin Zinya? You have fallen into here. I know you'll teleport out because you're an NPC, but still. Oh, look, and there's a clone of you. Uh, All right, Annie, Nicole, I would like to introduce you to an absolutely lovely kitty. Uh, 
This is Anthea, and she will be your new buddy. So she's going to stay down here, and she's going to be a good kitty. She's a cat who is named after a goddess of swamps and vines and, like, cattails and those kinds of plants. So you're going to be right at home up here, sweetie. Also, there's some mushrooms. Some mushrooms to harvest up and eat. Oh, my gosh, we got so many mushrooms from Calf's World, too. I'll have to show you guys that later. But, yes, yeah, so here she is. I'm so excited, and we have fulfilled that request. Quest. Don't worry, Annie. I don't even want to collect any emeralds from it because you are awesome. And just remember that uh, always. We actually got a lot of emeralds from visiting um, visiting Calf's World and trading for paper and things. But I'm glad Annie finally has what she wanted, which is her little kitty. So the kitty's here. Uh, and Nicole, how are you doing? I feel like I need to make Nicole some like fur boots or something. I did bring home some fur. I might need a little bit more fur. And then we can trade her. Trade her for some things. Oh, that's such a cute little zombie baby Chad. I need to make that zombie baby daycare sooner than later. Oh, that'll be so fun. But all right, now that we have the cat dropped off, whoops, and I'm almost walking down things, and Xenia is fine now, we are going to walk in the friendship garden. And uh, actually, Mara had a really good idea of building a gazebo in here. So I might build a gazebo pretty soon to try to surprise her. Don't tell her it's a surprise more mushrooms. Yes, I'm going to have mushroom stew tonight. In fact, here's some uh, some nice vanilla beans. I love our friendship garden. And actually, I should work on making a path from the friendship garden towards uh, oh yeah, Grandmama apple tree. I want to pick some apples. Wait, there we go. Some nummy apples to eat. Maybe I should put like a, a, another swing up in the friendship garden because they're really fun to sit in. And yeah, I should build a path from over there, the friendship garden, to like past the loftwood tree, which is really cool because the loftwood fairy is hiding in there because this is a donation from Alyssa. I have so many more trees to add. I'm so behind on things. I'm sorry, guys. But yeah, see, we could make a little path, like wind it down. You guys know how I, <laughs> how I like, hate straight paths. And it can pop over here. Or maybe it could like wind towards here, then this can be like a little intersection. I like that idea, because the village is going to start growing soon with all of the... Oh, where the heck am I going? I'm walking into the village and not coming over to check on our ducks. Ugh, ugh, let me get out from under these leaves. There we go, and I'm happy to report I still hear the quacking of ducks, and look right there! I think I see some of their eggs! Okay, okay. So we fed, we fed them quite a bit. Oh, drowning in the water. There we go. Gotta creep up real slow. <gasps> I see more eggs. Oh my gosh. We fed them 16 of the special breeding biscuits that we could have for them. Thanks to you guys. You guys did this. You guys helped us so that we could help these ducks. Hey, little duck duck. Where are you going? Huh? You want to get out of that corner? Go sit on your eggs. You've scattered them everywhere. <gasps> They're shaking. They might hatch into ducks soon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Looks like there's at least sixteen. Oh, hello, duck, duck. Do you want to get out of that spot? You guys are so silly. Going into the corners just like chickens. <gasps> oh, yeah. There's definitely... Look at all of these. Oh, my goodness. I'm so excited. There's going to be ducks everywhere. The pond is going to be filled with ducks thanks to you guys helping out so we could feed these guys the special breeding treats. And I'm going to have to go through... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Quick. Put the... No. Siri. Put the eggs down. Don't go near them. Whew. That's That's dangerous. You don't want to disturb the natural habitat of the duck ducks. They aren't very tidy duck parents, but I'm sure they'll figure it out. Oh, okay, we got to get out of here so they don't imprint on us. I'm sure they'll figure it out soon. <laughs> That's so exciting. All right, let's 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 skedaddle before they hatch and imprint on the wrong thing. I'm sure you guys know that a lot of the, the ducks, like a lot of the chickens and geese and things like that, will actually imprint... Uh, when they hatch, so that oh, tell what are you doing over here? <laughs> so that they will follow the uh, the first like living creature that they see. Uh, that kind of looks, you know, like there's that famous story and movie about the little girl who was around when the geese hatched, and she became the goose mama, and she taught them how to fly uh, south for the winter and all that. So that was really cool. And old tell is um, old tell. You can't eat the ducklings. Old Tell. In fact, I'm going to move Old Tell because I think he wants to eat the ducklings. No, Old Tell. You can't have the ducklings for dinner. 
But that's so exciting. So we should have all of those duck eggs hatch soon. And that was because of you. We're going to have to make sure that you can help out with those kinds of things in the future. Like maybe Naomi might need a mate soon. Or actually, I know for a fact we need to find another black rat snake. Oh, there's so much to do. I had a really fun time. I'll tell you, you can stick around here, but you cannot eat the ducks, okay? I had a really fun time adventuring in Calf's World, but there is so much that we need to get done here that I'm ready to settle in and be back home for a while. Like, take the relic scraps over to uh, the Relic Research Center and make sure that I take <laughs> Assistant Freezer Bunny before his girlfriend kills him, sending him upstairs to try to sneak into the Essence Berry room. Oh, speaking of Essence Berries, I need to add more Essence Berries to my garden because we found seven Essence Berry bushes in Calf's World. So where the heck to put those? Um, Because they do hurt you if you get pricked by them, but I love them so because they're so yummy. I kind of want to keep them in my personal garden, but we're running out of space up here. Maybe, I'll, oh, I could start over here, I guess. See, there's just so much going on. Oh, I know where we can put them. We'll put them off the balcony. That's a good idea. Yeah. So I can make like my own little my own little bush area off the balcony here. And actually, that reminds me that that snake has been trapped down there for a little while. So I'm thinking that might be our new black rat snake, like Ratata the second, because that's what our first black rat snake, Caitlin and Ratata were their names. So I'm thinking that's what we'll do. We'll go ahead, we'll fetch him and put him in the reptile house as well. See, there's so much to do. And we've got new pandas that we need to add because we caught three new pandas while we were in Calf's World. And then we need to get started on the Marine Reptile Center. And actually the red wolves are going to be one of the things that come up next due to some real life drama going down with the red wolves. So that's gonna be happening. Look at them all having a party over at Junior's house. That's awesome. Need to get more houses for them. Junior actually needs to have his bachelor challenge where we invite different uh, female NPCs and we'll see which one he might fall in love with. So Junior is going to start dating soon. Oh, like I said, Red Wolves coming up. Maybe expansions to the reptile house. This is going to be great and I am so happy to be home. So I will see you guys bright and early in the morning if you could help uh, feed everybody. Not you. Mr. Piggy, you cannot be fed to the dogs, honestly. By leaving a like, it would mean so much. And I'm so excited. We'll have to go see how all the ducks have hatched. Leave duck names. We're going to need so many new duck names. I'm so excited. Ducks. So many ducks. And we're going to have to make sure these ones survive. Which is why I need to go hire the duck ranger. Oh, yeah. And tomorrow is my birthday, actually. So I think we might do something special for my birthday. I'm thinking a biscuit's greenhouse. So I'm excited about that. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.